All right, top of the top, ladies and gentlemen, cars. All right, now, what we're working on today is a 2005 Dodge Ram. And as you can see, blue a block, a blue block. We got a good old rack and pinion. And we're doing uh, some other miscellaneous repairs, but I wanted to go ahead and do the rack and pinion how-to video. So first thing first, when doing rack and pinions, you know you are gonna have to dis disassemble the steering rack from the steering shaft that goes up to the steering column. And with doing so, this is what I need you to do. I need you to pay attention. You do not wanna lose the center of where this wheel is because if it rotates more than 360 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, somebody, you feel free to say what you want in the comments. If it rotates more than 180 degrees on one side, then you can break the clock spring and then you have an airbag light on or your airbag can deploy and all that good stuff. But I don't wanna scare you away from doing the job. Let's go ahead and center that up. Wheels was pretty much straight when I got here, but it was to the side a little bit. This is what I typically like to do. I like to, you know, move this here to the front. I know some people might have some fancy gadgets and stuff like that, but hey man, I don't need to buy no uh, no fancy gadgets here and there for something that I learned from uh, some good men, some good old timers, man. So first and foremost, man, don't let me ramble y'all heads out because I will. First and foremost, in order to keep that center wheel position, what I like to do, I like to lock that steering wheel in, you know? You can lower it down like this, you know? And it ain't going nowhere. All right now. All right, that's locked in. So let's move on. What you gotta do is, you gotta take this here, bolt out of the steering shaft right there. Right there. Oh, wait, I'm pointing to the wrong one. Right here. Out of the steering shaft. When you get that out, you can go ahead and remove that steering shaft off of the rack and pinion. You want to disassemble, disconnect the rack and pinion from here. And of course, that, well, this is the spindle. I'm sorry, let me go ahead and name that. This, disconnect it from the spindle right here. This is going to be a 21. Take the 21, loosen this up, bang that. So it releases. And of course, come to the other side. Same thing, you wanna go ahead and disassemble it on this side as well. And then you have two main points in the middle that you need to take off. These are 24 millimeters. Can't see it because the car is dirty, but boom and boom, you take those out. But you're gonna need a big mama jammer to hold those. I believe this is a 38, yeah, 38 millimeter. Or like a one and five H. Don't get me lying on the standard. I don't understand it. But I believe this is a 38 millimeter socket or 39. Or if you don't have neither one of those, you could use some good vice grips and hold that in place while you dis uh, dis disconnect this bolt right here. And once you get that off and you hold that in place while you disconnect that or loosen this up, whatever you want to call it, boom. You can go ahead and drop that rack right out of there. But how I like to do it, I like to slide it out this way or that way or if you want to go cave man you know you disconnect the inner tie rods on both sides so that way you can just drop it right out all right all right let's get to it baby all right now we gotta stop doing stuff like this i understand that sometimes we gotta make it do what to do but hey man this is an axle nut boat that is a cast nut boat so it's, i mean you can use that but this is, I don't know what kind of boat that is, but all that to make it work. <laughs> oh, man. All right, back to it. All right. One thing I'm going to tell y'all now, these hoses right here, if your hoses look anything like the hoses that came off of here, I'm telling you now, you are going to need to replace both of them. But uh, one of them I'm going to make that's this one. I'm just going to get some uh, high pressure, probably like a vacuum line or something like that. And uh, just to make that one. But this one has to be ordered. That one? This one has to be ordered. It literally broke as I was uh, taking the fitting off. So, got to go order that one from the dealer. I know my tools are a mess. Don't make a uh, fun of it. 
this will happen when Jack stands not holding this and falls out, whatever. Um, yeah, but just a heads up if your hoses look anywhere cor like corroded like that and broke up or it's chewed up like that, I'll tell you now, I won't need to replace it. All right, as you can see, we got it off. Wasn't a, a big issue at all um, to get off or anything of that nature, but it's off. And I already showed you guys how to take it off. Now let's go ahead and put this back in there. Ah, as you can see, these, you don't need to do anything extravagant because you can just tap these out. We'll stick a flathead screwdriver in between the rack and this and pry it out. It comes right out. You're gonna have to talk about again, of course. All right, and you don't need a big wrench to hold these, just, just some pliers, uh, some monkey pliers, or doesn't matter for monkey wrench or some big jaw pliers, just to hold this in place. Or you don't even need to hold it in place, I'm sorry, but you will need to pry this out, just get it off. Uh. All right, let's go get it back in there. All right, she's all buttoned back up. We had to get a new cooler because she had a hairline crack in the cooler. Uh, we got the new lines on. We have the new rocking pin in, as you can see. Yes, indubitably. I said dubitably. I'm sorry. Very, very hot day out here. And I'm punched. Got everything on top. New up control arms. The whole nine, baby. All right. Let's go ahead and... uh. Throw some um, fluid up in there, run them, put this one back on the road. Okay. All right, we got her back to normal. She ready to hit the road. No more leaks and clunking. All right, Coach K, over and out, brother. Flip a band to a A, yeah. Been eating good, he need Versace on his plate. I got the grand, I got the grand. I dirty dance on Figaro, on Figaro. Out in the D, I move them bitches in the snow. Oh, what you know? I keep it proper, got it locking on the stove, I'm on the stove. I need about 24 show. Uh.